Okay, maybe a few little indications up through here. Now comes the fun. Now we can begin putting all the beautiful leaves and stuff on this and just really make it come alive. So here we'll take a little bit of the magic white to thin our paint. One of the golden rules in this is that a thin paint will stick to a thick paint. So anytime you're painting over the top of paint, you need to have a paint that's just a little bit thinner. All righty, we'll take a little bit of thalo green and a little bit of yellow, and we load the brush full of paint. And our light's coming through here, so we want this side of the tree to be a little brighter than the other side. All right, and then we begin pushing thousands of little leaves on here. Just, they hide in your brush. There they come. Just a little on this side over here, because not as much light's gonna strike. Little's gonna come through, but not as much. And look at that. In just a matter of a few minutes, we have a beautiful tree. Okay, now maybe this little tree over here, we'll put a little highlight on him. And once again, we're using a paint that's a little bit thinner so that it sticks. First thing that you have to do when you're doing this is start with an oil paint that's very, very firm. Your base paint has to be extremely firm. If you start with a thin, loose paint, you're gonna become a mud mixer. You have to have a thick paint on the base coat in order to get this thinner paint to stick. Now let's begin building some little bushes and stuff in here. All right, look at that. You can do it. I know you can. There, look at there. Okay, let's move up to this big tree in the front here. And let's put some nice little leaves up here on him. You have to bend that brush. If the brush doesn't bend, you're not gonna get all these beautiful little leaves, these little actions that happen. Okay, maybe there's a nice little bush that lives right here. You know, if you've ever walked through the woods early in the morning, all the little creatures are out here. They're all playing in the bushes and stuff. This is where they live, in all these bushes. Okay, let's put something on this side now. Nice little bush here. Just let your imagination run wild. Let your heart be your guide. In the time you sit around worrying about it and trying to plan a painting, you could have completed a painting already. Let it happen. Let it happen. You know, for so many years, I was a traditional painter. And I would spend sometimes weeks just working on a picture, drawing it out, getting all the little sketches and stuff. And then I'd go back and spend maybe a month trying to fill in the blocks. And here, we let it happen. It comes right out of here. It's in you. And you put it on the canvas. Okay. Let's see. Let's try this big old tree here. Put some nice little leaves on him. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's try. I'm add a little permanent red with my color now, just to just to give us a little different value. Now, you know, if we're going to walk through the woods, we need a little path. So let's take a little bit of Van Dyke Brown here. And let's build us a happy little path. 
we're just going to take the knife and let this path sort of just wander right down through here. There we go. Just let him wander around, play, have fun. There, we got us a nice little path. Now we need to highlight that path, so I'll take just a little bit of white, and we'll just take and barely touch the canvas here, just enough so we can highlight where the sun's sparkling through here. There. See how easy that is? Let that paint break. And now in order to set the path down into the painting, we'll add some bushes that project up over the path here and there. Just push them in. There we go. And you can see how that makes it just literally drop right into the painting. Okay. Let's put some more land areas in here. Maybe there's some nice little areas coming down through here. Just like so. And we'll have some over here. And follow the angle of your land. There we go. There we go. There. And maybe, 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 as we're walking through the woods here, maybe it rained last night. Maybe it came a nice little rain and there's little puddles. You know, after it rains, you always have little rain puddles. So let's take a little touch of the Prussian blue here. It will just make us a little puddle. And we put some Prussian blue on the brush and we take here and pull downward. Just pull downward, like so. There we go. how easy it is to do. Now, very gently, we'll come across this way just to give it a watery effect. Now, if you want to, if you want to put highlights in here, maybe you could take just a little touch of the titanium white on your brush and pull down. And it'll give a sort of a sheen. And then, once again, just come across just enough to give it a, a nice watery feel. You can overdo this part very easily. Okay, I'm going to wash off the old brush. Okay, now we can take a little more of the Van Dyke brown. And we can just make little puddles out of this. Maybe it comes down like so, right through there. There we are. Okay. Little puddle. And we'll just make this a little separate puddle back here. Just like that. And then we'll take a little bit of brown and white. And we'll lay a little highlight on there. There we go. And in your world, you can do anything that your heart desires.
My home is in Fairbanks, Alaska, and I spend a lot of time walking around in the woods and talking to trees, and squirrels and little rabbits and stuff. And I look at a lot of nature. And if painting teaches you nothing else, it'll teach you to look at nature with different eyes. It'll teach you to see things that have been there all your life and you've never noticed. And if it does nothing else but make you enjoy nature, it's worthwhile. So look around. Look at what we have. Beauty is everywhere. You only have to look to see it. Okay. And I talk too much sometimes, so we'll go back to painting here. Take a little bit of the thin white paint here, and we'll put some little water lines back in here. Okay, just like so. Yes. There we go. There. And maybe some little water lines right here. This is just the thin white paint, and you literally just cut right into the canvas with it. And let's smooth that out. There we go. Okay, now while I have the knife here, I'm going to take and just cut a few little sticks here and there. And all we're doing is just literally cutting right through the paint so the canvas shows through it. It makes a multitude of little sticks. And these little sticks help create the illusion of distance in a painting. All different planes. Okay. Okay. And I think this painting is far enough along, we'll just sign this rascal. And I signed the painting with a script liner brush, a little bit of oil, and I use red paint, but whatever color you prefer. Okay. And we'll just sign that rascal. I hope you've enjoyed this painting. Next week, we're looking forward to seeing you. We hope you have your brush ready dream in your heart that you want to put on canvas and join us right here for the joy of painting and you too can build fantastic pictures you can take them from here and put them on there until next week happy painting